Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Let's take a look at a free-to-play browser-based game call coming up soon called League of Angels. Not to be confused with League of Legends, it is not a MOBA, it is a browser-based fantasy MMORPG. Turn-based combat with not too much focus on actual technical combat. In combat, it's all about positioning and creating your, your party rather than yourself. Also, the gold you do have to mouse over, not click, you don't have to click it, but... Just started there, you saw my first little battle. It's the first fight of an MO. It's gonna be easy. But you do have to go mouse over the gold. So it's just one of those little things like, hey, what's going on? Why am I out? Combat early on, fast and furious. You can run the fights constantly. There's also gonna be a bit of story and cutscenes going on. This is really early in the game, so there's not too much of mechanics going. You can see I do have abilities that I'll unlock over time. This is actually not even my character, this is even pre-character creation, it's just introducing you to the game. Speaking of which, let's go look at it, creating a character. Just gonna finish the last boss right here, and you can see there are four classes to choose from. Or actually, there's two classes of the male or female, so you got the uh, fighter or the mage. No priest, no work, nothing like that right now. It's still in the beta, so you never know. I'm gonna pick a male mage, and get right in the game. The interface, pretty typical for a browser-based game. It does have a couple of things that are a little bit different than the turn-based style. You will have a quick bar, sort of, but it's not for you. It's actually for a, it's an anger bar for your angel, which we will bump into real soon. This is a browser, so careful with the right-clicking. Double-click will equip new items for you. There is also a auto-tracking system, and there is a stamina system. So once you run out of stamina, you can't complete stuff. Free to play MMO, so if you want to get a little extra stamina, you can go a little faster. Being a fan of Bastion, I did get a little kick out of seeing the terrain appearing in front of me like that. Now that I have actually made a character, I am a mage, not just a generic fighter anymore. So I'll do my magic attack, and then on the second turn I'll do shock therapy. And then, every turn, my angel here gets 25 rage. When she gets to full, to full she's going to unleash her attack. She gets ticked off and... Limit breaks for me. You can see in this case, she just one-shot everybody. Not gonna happen all the time. Eventually, the guys will get harder. It About 15, 20 minutes into the game, I will say, they were doing significant damage to me. I don't think I was ever any threat of dying, but it was getting a little, a little closer. So you can see, she's gonna just go crazy. And since they're all real weak, they all die. Just gotta collect all my, collect all my, go all my, go there we go. And then you just keep moving on until you get through the whole map. At the end of the map, there's usually a boss. And this is click to move. You can also use your auto tracker to get to where we're going. So now we have a boss to fight. I use my shock therapy. He uh, summoned minions. Well, she's going to go ahead and deal with them and him. Well, that's helpful. No, she does not win every fight like that forever. At the end of a, a little dungeon area, you can go and pick a reward, four random rewards. So I got a basically crafting mat or gold. So it's probably the uh, the best of the rewards. Crafting, or gold can be used to upgrade items, which we're gonna look at in just a bit. Now that we've seen some of the basics, let's see some of the other options in the game. First thing is progressing your angel. She doesn't just go ahead and gain XP like you do. You have to go ahead and bond with her. And you can bond 10 times for free per day. Plus you can pay to go ahead and bond more often. It gives her XP, which will eventually unlock new abilities, new stats. Just make her all around better. She's not your only NPC you're going to work with. Eventually we're going to unlock more. You can see right now I'm going to a different zone, exploring a new area. Early on, you're getting equipment fast. You're learning the, the mechanics fast. There's also going to be daily login rewards. A lot of the stuff you'd expect to see in a browser game. But she's not the only NPC, so let's go ahead and unlock another one and see what it looks like. After defeating him, he actually goes to town and follows you around, and now suddenly, we're getting a little more tactical. We got a guy in the front, so you're trying to figure out your placement. In this case, I put him in the front. Well, he's a warrior, I'm a mage. This makes sense. Unfortunately, I didn't really do anything for his gear, so he's taking a pretty good hit. Even though he's trying to do the whole paladin bubble thing. And then she's still around, she got angry, just AoE, you saw she didn't one-shot anyone anymore. Monster's getting a little harder here. 
But you will unlock more NPCs, you'll get a formation you can put them into. You can also give him new gear, and on top of that, I can upgrade his gear. You can see I'm going to go ahead and bond her a little more level up some. But I want to show the gear enhancing, the way you spend your gold mostly. Now that I've got my nice new staff right here, I can go ahead and enhance it. You can just keep on doing it as long as you have the gold. It does scale, not quite line linearly, linearly. So it does get pretty expensive. I think I went to plus five in the staff. Eventually I went to plus one in everything else. And then for my warrior friend, I gave him plus three to pretty much all of his stuff because I wanted him to survive and do a little better. It did see me a pretty, a pretty significant increase. It cost a lot of gold. Not sure if you want to hoard that money or not. I'm a noob, but it's there. It does seem to help quite a bit. And in lieu of a traditional skill and stat leveling system, there is going to be the little, kind of the, the star look that you get from a lot of Asian MMOs. As you gain levels, you can go ahead and go through the constellation, and give you different passive upgrades. At this point, there was no decisions to make. It was just, if I have points, I use it. And they're all based off your level. So it's just stat points. Maybe in the future there'll be some way to customize it. I didn't get very high level. Didn't finish the whole, this area right here. Click the game, check it out. It's available for free. Currently in beta. It's called League of Angels. Now League of Legends. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like to see, stay tuned to more from MMO Play. I'm going to go ahead and level up some gear and crash some goblins.